All right, so back in 3ds Max now, we're going to um, just create these roads that we exported with a script, and that script is called read InfoWorks file. It's got a bunch of stuff. You really just need to change this path to where the your file is, <clears throat> where you saved it to the last time. And uh, once that's done, uh, let's see. Yes, so your you should be good to go. After that, so just evaluate tools, evaluate all. And I guess I'm going to, um, I've already done this, so I'm going to hide the stuff I've already done. But tools, evaluate all, and you, know, you can see how quickly it just redrew all the road data. The only thing is that they are, <clears throat> there's no Z value. So what we need to do is um, reproject these down onto the, um, onto the map. And to do that, uh, that's going to take going back into InfoWorks here. And um, what I like to do is create a new proposal. And then I open up the filters, and I'll turn off everything except the, um, the height, the terrain data. And uh, that is going to make it a single mesh with no textures, which is exactly what we want. And then I just export that. And it's going to come in as a single mesh, which you'll see here. I have on another layer. <clears throat> and one of these days, there. So there is my road data. There is my single mesh. And now I'm going to use that to uh, reproject these, road, these roads down. So since I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time just selecting all of these in a line, but you're going to definitely have to do that for the main roads. They're divided up into sections, and that's just how InfoWorks does it. So <clears throat> what I do is I'll just select the, everything in a line and then um, add the uh, spline. Oh, what is that thing called? The normalized spline modifier. And that's going to make it nice and even uh, for us to reproject down onto. If we don't do that, then we're going to lose uh, some undulation, some some uh, movement in the terrain. Uh, so to project those down, you open up the spline ray and just make sure that your ground object is called ground, and uh, that you have your the what you want to project down selected. And once you do that, you can see it'll just project it right down onto the terrain. So nice. Uh, and I'll just add some thickness to it so you can see it. But uh, it worked. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, of course, you can go through and um, it, grab. This is where we grab the multiple, the multiple splines. And then uh, here's sort of the workflow of how you do this. So you um, attach Alt, select all the splines. You want to weld them now. So I select all the vertices, come down here and press Weld. And what you're looking for, if you switch to the spline sub-object, you're looking for one spline. It should be one single spline. And then from there, you add your normalized spline modifier and um, go ahead. And it doesn't have to be unhidden or anything. You can just reproject right from here. So I press Control-E. And um, look, and there it is. So you have to do that for all the roads that you want to project down. Or any road that you want some animated, you know, thing on, and then these roads out here on the end, you just will delete uh, the extra stuff. So, yep. So that should about do it. You can see the the roads line up really well compared to the map. So um, you should get some accurate um, simulation happening. Uh, and now uh, let's take a look at the InfoWorks part of this, which is how do you divide up this road and make it work for really long um, roads so that the ends don't lift up and uh, the coordinate system translation problem uh, is fixed. So let's take a look at that. Thanks.